Axel, Axel. Hey, what's going on? Uh, it's Taco, and yeah, I'm back playing some Modern Warfare 3. Uh, I had my little two-week break. Uh, I was playing a lot of Call of Duty 4, tried some Modern Warfare 2. That was a bad idea because that game is just a little bit out of control. Uh, still with the noob tubes, and everybody wants to play like a douchebag on that game. So, yeah, I started back, and uh, I'm having a good time playing again. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff that pisses me off about the game, but I think that's just Call of Duty in general. Um, it's always going to be like that. People are going to take advantage of the shittiest stuff and exploit the uh, baddest, uh, weakest shit. You know, the most or the most overpowered crap in a game. But uh, yeah, kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about was uh, the MP7. A lot of people say the MP7 is overpowered. And to those people, I say, fuck you. Uh, because there's no way that it is. Um, whenever there's a gun in Call of Duty that is pretty good and kind of outshines the other guns, people tend to say it's overpowered and... I really don't think that that's the the right gun, uh, the right word to say because um, just because a gun is good, maybe the best in its class as far as like submachine guns goes, that doesn't mean that it's overpowered. Um, I think it's a great gun. It's a well-rounded gun. Um, the long range, as you can see right there, may be a little too good. But to say that the gun is actually overpowered, that's bullshit. Uh, I'm not buying that. Um, this is the gun that I'm using because I love to use this gun. I do well with this gun and I feel confident using it. And guess what? I'm going to fucking use it all the time. Because I'm not going to play this game, which is a pain in the ass and hard enough as it is, uh, with something that I'm not comfortable using. And now I can use other subs here. And uh, I mean, I could use the PP90, the P90, the MP5, I mean, all the subs. But to me, this is my favorite one and this is the one I feel most comfortable with using. So that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, so it's not overpowered. That's a bunch of crap. Don't believe people that say that. Uh, they're full of shit and they don't know how to play the game. So uh, this is a Kill Confirmed uh, Ground War game. I like to play Ground War on Kill Confirmed because I find that you can get a lot more kills. Uh, the game lasts a little bit longer because the score limit goes up to 90. Obviously, you guys know that. I don't know why I'm saying that. But I do prefer Ground War. And I tend to get a lot more doubles and triples with Predator and Missiles, as you've seen earlier. And uh, that's why I like. I like using the Reaper and shit like that. Uh, and blowing people up. So in this game, I'm actually using the Attack Helicopter and the Pavlo with the Predator Missile. Um, no one in this lobby, I noticed the uh, two or three games before, no one in this lobby was actually shooting down stuff. And when that happens, I'll tend to use the uh, the helicopters uh, more so than like the AC-130 or Reaper. Because if I'm using the Reaper or AC-130, I can usually hit the guys trying to shoot me. Um, you know, but I kind of like running with the helicopters because I don't have to worry about, um, you know, controlling my kill streaks. I can run around. And here we have a host migration. I kind of cut that out because no one wants to watch host migration, right? And uh, yeah, it actually turns out that I get the host at this point, so which is kind of weird because at the end of the game, uh, I got a three bar and everybody else has like a four bar, but I know that I'm the host because the next game I quit halfway through, um, not because I was getting work, but I had some shit, <laughs> some shit I had to do and I ended up was, I was the host. So um, I don't know how to really explain that, why everybody has a four bar and I have a three bar at the end of the game. It's kind of weird, but yeah. Uh, I like Ground War. Uh, it's fun. If you guys haven't tried Ground War, it's great. Um, you get a lot more action, and it's funner, and you get a lot more kills, and you'll die more too, which sucks, but, you know, that's part of the game, and as you can see, this is like more of a rushing kind of gameplay. Usually, what I tend to do in uh, team death matches and shit like that is is uh, play a little defensively and kind of hold areas down, which I do that in free-for-all too, you know, but... Uh, I don't always play like a bitch. I mean, I do tend to run around sometimes. It just depends on the lobby. You got to kind of feel it out and see how people are playing. Um, I'm not ex-cal, so I just can't run around all the time. I'm not that good. And uh, I really feel that um, my internet connection kind of has been holding me back a little bit. Um, I know that if I had the best internet connection, I probably wouldn't be like a uh, unbelievable pro gaming kind of player or anything like that. But it does make a difference and I know this because I just recently upgraded my internet before um, I was having my uh, my download was uh, 10 MPS I had 10 down and I have one up and now I upgraded to where I have 25 down and four up so my download speed is a, a whole lot better and I noticed that I can connect to games 
a lot easier like under 50 milliseconds of ping under 75 milliseconds of ping which before with my connection um, it would take an act of congress for me to get something under 75 milliseconds of ping usually i'd have to play at under 100 milliseconds uh, of ping so and that sucks because people start break dancing and you can't see anybody and you die and shoot people like 35 times and they don't die so um, now I, I noticed that it's it's playing a little better a little easier and um, maybe that's why I'm kind of a little more into playing Modern Warfare 3 because on this game connection it's huge um, kind of like Black Ops the last two Call of Duty games have been I know Call of Duty's always been connection based, but it seems like the last two Call of Duty games have really, having a connection that's decent and really good has been really fucking important. And uh, I didn't have that. Now I think that my connection's okay. Um, it can compete with uh, most of the people playing the game. I know that there's some people that have like 50, 50 down, 100 down, um, and fuck those people too. That pisses me off. I live in Alabama, so I just cannot get that kind of connection. Uh, we don't have fiber op optic or anything like that, which is too bad, and we probably never will. But my connection for now is pretty damn good, and I'm happy with it. And uh, that's why I'm, I'm rushing in this game, because uh, my connection's a lot better, obviously. And uh, I, this lobby was just full full of retards, to be honest. Uh, nobody in this game was really um, that good, and you know it happens. Um, you get in those lobbies where you're, you're playing against total du total douchebags, and uh, you just do well. Um, this game's on, I think this is on PS3. Yeah, PS3 here. I noticed playing on PS3, there's a lot less team action going on than playing on Xbox. I don't know what the hell it is, but on Xbox, I get put in these lobbies where I'm either playing against whole teams or even in like mercenary team deathmatch, I'm playing against the better players and they match me up with the shittier players. How does that happen? I don't know. But my win-loss on, on PS3 is, I think over one, it's like 1.1 or something. And on Xbox, it's like 0.5. And I play the exact same way on both systems. Um, my kill-death ratio is is similar on both. I think on Xbox, it's 2.2. And on PS3, it's 2.3, maybe. Um, yeah, so I really don't change anything in the way that I play. I don't play with a lot of people. Um, it's rare that I'll play with the full party. I just don't do that. And what, Look at this. This I have host here. See, this is what happens. <laughs> I don't know what was going on here, but yeah, that's fair, right? So... Anyways, uh, this is the game. Uh, we beat the hell out of them. Well, actually, it was a pretty close game. But uh, I kicked ass. This is a good game for me. Um, better than most. I usually don't get more than 40, 40 kills and a kill confirmed. But this game, I did. I tore it up. Yeah, final score is 54 and 6. And this is Taco, and I'm out. See you guys.